here are three things to know for Sunday, December 31st. Right now, tensions are rising in the Red Sea after the U.S. military announced that it has killed Iranian-backed Houthi militants who were trying to attack a container ship in one of the world's major trade routes. Up until now, the U.S. has only publicly announced shooting down Houthi-launched drones and missiles. U.S. Central Command saying Navy helicopters acting in self-defense responded by sinking three out of four boats that were trying to attack a container ship. All the crew members were killed. The fourth boat fled. The U.S. says it's not looking for a conflict with the Houthis. In a statement, the Houthis said that they lost 10 group members and referred to the U.S. engagement as dangerous behavior that will have negative repercussions. They went on to say that they will continue to operate in the Red Sea and will not hesitate to confront any aggression. A Colorado mother suspected of killing two of her children has been found and arrested. Authorities say Kimberly Singler was taken into custody in the United Kingdom today. Singler has been accused of lying about a burglary at her home earlier this month in which two of her three children were found dead. And as millions are gathering to ring in the new year, respiratory illnesses are on the rise. Right now, 31 states in Washington, D.C. are seeing high or very high levels of infection from flu, COVID, RSV, and the common cold. Some hospitals are even bringing back mask requirements. We are seeing an increase in number of patients admitted with respiratory illnesses uh, compared with uh, the number of patients admitted around Thanksgiving time. Uh, we're uh, up about 40%. Flu cases were up 16% last week alone. The CDC estimating 4,500 flu-related deaths this season alone, with the number of infections growing or likely growing in every 